In this video, I'll show you something extremely unique and valuable that can enhance your production quality with less people on job. And that's called PDC Trace. The ability for a PDC camera to not only recall a preset position, but also move autonomously according to a pre-recorded path. If you don't know us, Skahoy, we are probably the world's leading manufacturer of high-end universal PDC controllers. And we take great pride in supporting a wide range of PDC camera brands and models. And not only that, we always strive for deep integrations that honor the specific features. Typically, special features of your camera is supported in our parameter list. The particular iris values, shutter speeds, etc. are supported. But most importantly, our controllers let you mix and match camera models and brands freely while still respecting their individual nature. Today, we will work with the Panasonic UE150, Bird Dog P200 and a Canon CRN100 on the same controller. And the Bird Dog and Panasonic camera doesn't have a built-in trace function. No worries. That is what the PDC Extreme controller from Skahoy simply adds on top. We enhance the cameras in this way, making them more valuable than they were out of the box. So let's see how that works. Let's first take a look at the software inside the PDC Extreme. The PDC Extreme is completely independent. It doesn't need this computer. It's just to access the web UI. It talks directly to the cameras. And that's very important that you understand our panels are not dumb. They are super intelligent and they are capable of basically controlling like 80 cameras that has been done today we have three different brands and they are added as you can see on the ip addresses they are connected they are set up for the pdc extreme so this is what the software inside looks like but on the controller itself you have this camera selector and as i'm pressing the buttons you also see a change on a video switcher they are connected to that's actually the atom switcher you see in the bottom of this list Okay, so we are on the Panasonic camera here, and I want to show you how Trace works. So we have these uh, preset buttons up here, and normally if you press any of these, you'll see the camera will move into some position that has been pre-recorded. That's a standard preset, okay? But what we'll do now is to press this button, hold it for a while on the upper edge, and we enter into an engineering menu where we enable Trace. So Trace needs to be enabled. It happens on this button, and now Trace is enabled, and I can exit my engineering menu. And now, when I press and hold this button, I would start recording a preset. Let's try this. So I press, hold, now it actually records the preset and now it starts recording the trace. You see we have zero steps and the timer has not started just yet. So now I need to be careful to move the joystick in a really you know, nice slow move that I can imagine that I would like to play back autonomously. Okay, so I'll just have this creep zoom and the slide pan to the side. All right, let's just stop here. I'll speed it up a little bit now because we need to replay it in a moment and we don't want to spend too much time on that, but still. And then let's just zoom in on this corner of the logo. There we go, sweet. Okay, now we could take a pause for a moment and then we could Pan slowly to the side here. Now I'll speed it up a little bit because we want to see this action happening. And then I'll zoom out slowly on the camera. And okay, stop. And I press the button to stop. I had 45 seconds of trace recorded now. And pressing this button means that now it's ready to replay. The first thing it did was to recall the preset, the original position we came from. And now when I press it again, notice what happens. On the screen, you can see we are starting that creep zoom that we initiated our move with. So this is playing back the exact move I did just a moment ago. You see it's happening? That's pretty cool. Now, one of the really cool things I'll show you in a moment is how we can actually set up a different camera while this is happening. So what I imagine you would use a, a, a trace for would be to have this camera move, you know, just nice and slow if there's an operator sitting there. This is where the production value comes in, right? And you can go to a different camera, you can set that up, recall a preset, or even start a trace on a different camera while this one is playing back. And then on your vision mix over here, you can essentially switch to the new position of the bird dog camera that you set up in the meantime. So you see now the trace has played back, 45 seconds has elapsed, and we can now do this again. So let's, no wait, let's go to the bird dog camera actually. And do the same over here. So now we want to create a trace here. I just want to find the, the position that I, I, maybe let's 
do the mega panel here. Okay, so I press and hold once again to start a trace recall on preset number one. Okay, so we're ready. The moment I start moving the joystick, you'll see that the the trace is starting. I'm putting up a little bit of speed here so that we can actually see it when I'm playing it back in a moment, okay? So I'm zooming out like that, and let's say this is fine. Okay, I'll just stop there, and then I move a little bit to the left again with a nice slow pan. Okay, we'll stop right here. Okay, stop. 26 seconds. Going back to the Panasonic. Press it, it's arming, it's recalling the preset initially. I press it to start playing back. And now I basically switch over to the bird dog camera. Now I made a picture in picture here, so you can see in the corner that it's actually playing back on the Panasonic. You'll see it's it's doing the creep zoom right now. But what I can now do in the meantime, by the way, is to set up the bird dog camera so I could get that into a position either with a preset recall or just manual operation, or I could even start the trace on the bird dog. So now I have two traces running. Notice this. Okay, it's recalling the preset. I'm now running the trace on the bird dog. And this is happening hands off while the Panasonic is still playing back its trays, okay? So I hope you can start seeing how this can be combined in wonderful ways, allowing a single operator to basically operate multiple cameras at the same time. The same can be done with the Canon camera. So over here on the Canon, let's just, you know, fix this, okay? And I can basically start recording. I'll just zoom in, all right. Okay, I'll stop. Can I do more? Yes, I can. I can press and hold. I can do another uh, preset over here. So I'll just do that over there. Thank you. Now I can play back this first one. Okay, it was just a, a quick and sort of stupid one. And then I can play back this one if I want. Now, the Canon actually has trace built in. So you can either go with the built-in trace of the PTC Extreme, which manages it like independent of your brand. So any brand without having trace built into it can be PTC trace enhanced with the PTC Extreme. That's what this video shows you. But particularly the um, Canon camera, they have a trace function in here, which you can enable and set parameters for. So you can also use Canon's own trace functionality. But that's not the point of this video. The point is that we can do this for any camera. I want to highlight just two things that is not shown in this video today. And that is we can do looping. So traces can be played over and over again. And we can also do reverse movements on the trace. This works not with every camera, and that has to do with how the cameras work. So some cameras, like the bird dog, unfortunately cannot do a reverse move, but the Panasonic can. And reverse means that when it reaches the end of the trace, it's going to follow the same path backwards, almost like if it was like walking backwards of the path that you gave it. So that's what reverse means. And you can loop that. So you can basically have a camera ping pong forth and back all the time. But this depends on camera model, whether this works out well. But looping is supported for all of them. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to stay tuned on our technology. And if you are on social media, we are there as well. And you can sign up for our newsletter. Feel free to reach out to our sales and support team. They are always happy to answer your questions.